if you just want to introduce yourself to the audience at home, that'd be great. Into the camera? Yeah. Well, my name is Jimmy Doyle. You may, you may have seen me on TV. I'm the host of Jimmy Doyle's Mystery Hour, a program about conspiracies, conspiracy theories, spreading the truth. It's, it's a real fun, it's a real fun show. Right, if you just want to tell us how you got into that. Well, I was just, I was just inspired by the fact that there's so many things that need to be said, so many things hidden. Once I realized how many things the big, the big people were hiding, um, I thought, I need to tell as many people as I can about this. I got my hands, I acquired a camera, I acquired some informants, a network of informants who will remain confidential, obviously. Um, got myself a broadcaster and then the rest is history. Unless, unless you want me to tell that history as right. well. No, no, that's good, Mr. Doyle. Uh, your show, nobody actually knows about it because some people say that you're a nerd case and you don't actually have a show and you're just saying all this, making it up. I'm, I'm niche. I may not achieve the viewership I am looking for at the moment, but all, all things must have a start. I'm, anything can get big nowadays. Have you, have you seen all those other shows they're putting out there? I can, just because I have a terrible time slot, that's not my fault. Some people you don't say you don't even have a time slot. They don't say you're in the TV, TV weekly. Well, that, that's probably international licensing issues. This is a different country. I don't know, you're doing this interview down in the south. So you'll, you'll get it in a few years, you'll come over here. I don't think we will, Mr. Doyle, because we don't like your show, really. I've seen some of it, I saw some films of it, and I don't like what you talk about. I think you should be talking about the devil and stuff, but you're saying aliens are doing all this. I think it's the devil. Well, some things I know actually are real. Yeah, um, the, devil. the devil's real, Mr. Doyle. Some of the things I talk about are based on science, scientific accuracy, science fiction, scientific concepts like uh, the outer space and the, uh, the mind controlling and the surveillance cameras. Uh, I, I don't lean into the religious side of things as much because well, no, there's, nothing, there's nothing to talk about there. Okay, it's, all, it's all stories. Everything links to religion at some point. O only because you're making it that. No, Mr. Doyle, I think I find that incredibly offensive. People won't take kindly to comments like that. I'm not taking kindly to your comments either, actually. I think that's your, I think that's your problem, Mr. Doyle. I think, I think the interview's over, okay? I think you invited me on here, so I know, I'm going to make it your problem. I know, because you and you'll be happy with us talking about religion, but you ain't, so you can go ahead. Where would you get that from? I'm, no, I, I like give a, up. You I, seem like a kind of gentleman on your show, but I think you can leave, and don't forget to leave us the microphone, because we own that. The church. I'm taking this with me. No, I think you should, the church owns that, so yeah. Actually, you could, you, could be, you could be surveilling me. I'm giving this back. We are surveilling you, quite literally. It records audio. Thanks, Mr. Doyle. Don't come back. How to there, partner. I'm Lachlan, and I am the director of this film, Dial D for Doyle. So, as you might know, for our... 12 films in 12 months challenge. We've been experimenting with different sorts of effects and styles of films and all that genres. And this film was our first semi-improvised film. We had um, many ideas in our heads, but we did not write a script for this film and we didn't really write any dialogue and we all just, well, Carl and I basically showed up on the day and came up with our lines on the spot. So, let's begin. There I am. <clears throat> I put like oh a goodness. film effect, stock Da Vinci yeah, film yeah. effect um, over it. Um, this is a great effect, sort of I should inspired by cra crappy sci-fi stuff. I got a paper plate, put some aluminium foil on the bottom, and then just put it on a piece of um, fishing string that I spun around. 
and I don't think 1 800 numbers actually existed in Australia in the 70s, so that's an anachronism that we might touch on in a Jimmy Doyle prequel explaining what he is, like how he has a show. Your one -stop shop for all and all that, and how he has a business number that probably paranoia. doesn't even work. Paul Jimmy Doyle. <clears throat> Paul is um, there's a cameo from Joe, Paul who appears in a, a couple of our films. The Kennedy assassination um, there I am. By the, um, what's the name of that director? Um, yeah, this film's kind of short, so I don't, I I don't want to start like a Kennedy long thought and not be able to finish it. Um, and I'm wasting time by even saying this. Um, so yeah, this was sort of a remake of a previous video we did that wasn't a f um, like a proper short film, but we've turned it into a proper short film, a little bit longer than um, the What's the Scoop promo, which is what this is based on, which was like 40 seconds or something. Um, I suspected my neighbor was a comic. I like this set. Jimmy helped explain we my neighbor for the are using this set in our variety design. videos, which Thank you haven't you, seen Jimmy one of those yet, but we'll you'll probably see one next week, I think. If this is coming out on Friday the 8th, then yeah, it should be next week, Friday the 15th. Um, so look forward to that. We'll be discussing our favorite films. Yeah, so the film's over and I'm still rambling. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the uh, mock Jimmy Doyle interview that we did. Thanks for watching, everybody. And remember to tune in next week when we discuss our favorite films in a, a new format, semi-new format. Um, this basically just Carl and I rambling about a bunch of nonsense, sort of what I am doing right now because, well, I should just end it really abruptly.